Hello and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Well, today we have a SCAR. What is this, a 4500? This is the uh, SK4500.1 SCAR on the bench. And um, I, I'm putting this video out in response to um, more or less a response to a video I just put out about uh, business really not about what I was doing the board but about business well this one's about the board and the uh, the commenter he's one of my subscribers that we that he wants to know the how do you word it the problem or common problems with an amplifier and here is a fine I don't work for this company so I am more than happy to say what board this is I don't work for I don't work for any company I am independent but I do work I do repairs yes there we go I do repairs for other companies uh, but I don't directly work for them um, contract I guess we can go we contract with them <clears throat> but this is a scar and there's things in this repair world that we as repair people despise and this is an older design. I think this is an older one. I think it is. Is there even a date on this? Um, no, no date. Made in Korea. Is there a date on the board? I have no idea. Uh, part number. If it is, it's by Barry. But if we work our way over to the power supply that has failed. You can see what the problem is of why I despise this particular 4500. You know what's underneath this right here? In between these two transformers? You want to know what's under that? That. <laughs> Those are under this. So, you know, you, you, you just throw your hands up and go, and this is the reason why we have to constantly adjust our minimum charges and stuff of the sort because we have to do things that just make make you shake your head. So I'm going to end up pulling these bars out to have access to the drivers that are literally, I mean, they're so buried, I can't even show you the drivers. They're so buried that they're siliconed in between these two transformers. Could you imagine this thing running, and this is SCAR, so to begin with, this thing will get hot enough to cook an egg. Could you imagine what those poor drivers down there, what they're saying to this amplifier while it's running? In between these two transformers, probably full tilt. Full tilt. Why do I say full tilt? How do I know? Because it? it's got a shorted output section. I mean, yeah. So, this is why we, uh, we, this is why Ellensburg Amplifier does, has a quoting system. Um, I'll get your amplifier in, I'll look at it. And you know, there's times where if I'm so busy, I will I will turn this away. I'll say send it to somebody else because I don't want to deal with those bars. Um, there's three bars there. You can hear my dog snoring in the background there. <laughs> Maybe uh, there's three bars here that I gotta pull just to get to those drivers to make this power supply well reliable. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how you can say the word reliable if the thing is driven like in a quarter ohm. Nothing's reliable at a quarter ohm. Uh, so I'm not saying this was ran at a quarter. I'm just giving an analogy of using the word reliable in an amplifier is doesn't even go together. But yeah, so drivers. We know that this amplifier failed from an overload, right? Yep.
six, what do we got here? 600 ohms. Uh, 49K. 1K. Oh, yeah. This is, do we, what do we have? A drain, drain source short? Oh, we do have a drain source short. 0 0.09 ohms. Key, yeah, drain source. Dead short across the drain source. So it has a shorted output section. Output section stressed the power supply. Power supply started to get a little too sweaty. And power supply said it was done. Power supply goes down. Got to replace all these transistors, which are the what? What does SCAR use? SCAR uses... Seriously? <laughs> Not my most favorite power supply transistor. Either it's a jelly bean transistor used in everything. Not really anymore. It was a good transistor in its time. It's the IRFP064N, which is, mm, yeah, that means it's got to have, what, 47 ohm gate resistors. You see, I don't like the 064. I've got my reasons why I don't like the 064. What was I looking at? Oh, gate resistor. Um, probably 47. Uh -huh. Oh, we're, it's got shorted. I'm not going to be able to even check. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can look at the color bands. But 064s are usually 47 ohm resistors. Um, with this gate drive that they're using. All right, guys, I'm just cleaning up the mess here so I can see what we got. What do we have? We have a uh, bombic red. Uh, that's uh, so we got it. Pull down orange, purple, 47 ohms, as I expected. So it's got 47 ohm gate resistors. Probably, what is that? The, uh, the what is this? What drivers is it using? Uh, the 1275, 3228. Yeah, 1275 and 3228. Um, so yeah, so IRP064s in the power supply. This customer said that I have repaired this before, but I don't see, I don't see any. Did I repair this before? I don't see any of my work. doesn't even look like it's been pulled apart. Oh. Yeah, I rebuilt the output section. How do we know that? Also, well, I'm going to bet the output drive ICs are not defaced. Yep, that's correct. So, yeah, I rebuilt the output section on this. Um, so I'll be rebuilding it again. Rebuild it again. Except this time, now I have to rebuild the power supply. Hmm. Mm hmm. So. Iris. Oh. I even marked right here. Ah, from the last, from the last time. I have two little black marks right here. Uh, from the last time it failed. So yeah, we're going to rebuild this again. This is going to have the 24N40s in the uh, in the output section. Twenty-four N40s, I do believe, is what I put in that. 
Yes, I did. AAs. Yep. All right. Yeah, 20 frame four is the output. Just that is a that is the most common output transistor you'll see is the 24N40. Um, so 24N40, 064Ns in the power supply, <coughs> 7530s. Uh, so yeah, just a, just a rebuild. It's just those bars. This is the main topic of this video is, well, people want to know what the common problems are, common problems besides end user problems. Common problems is engineering nightmares yeah thanks scar um, for doing this I appreciate that you know you probably could have took a 8 gauge wire 6 gauge wire you could have taken something and ran that jumper with the wires and just zip tied it with the rest of your speaker leads to make repairability a little easier so yeah thanks scar but yeah that's what we're looking at here guys is uh just a rebuild uh these bars here so if you get a scar the sk 4500.1 d just be prepared that you're gonna have to deal with this and if you don't have the right equipment you really can do damage to this board trying to get these bars out so this is the reason why i put videos out is to help you guys um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Got any questions or comments, concerns, anything, leave it down below, and I'll get to you guys as soon as I can. I do thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Keep your fingers out of the rails. We'll catch you on the next one.